Hello guys, I'm gonna show you the gauntlet here in Crash Bandicoot 4. Now the gauntlet's located in the toxic tunnels. Make your way through the toxic tunnels until you find the big door with the colored gems in the corner. If you've collected all four gems throughout the game, the door will open. If you have not collected all four gems, I do have one video that shows the location of each of the four. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open. And now let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do it. It can be quite challenging. This first area is very simple. Of course, I'm gonna show you all the boxes. So here's the first set and the second set is set. Now this is gonna be quite challenging. There's gonna be a lot of trial and error, a lot of muscle memory is gonna to have to be developed in order to get through this. Just stick with it, you can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. So we're gonna get on the green gem. We're gonna go into really the first area. We're gonna do a blue gem, a red gem, a yellow gem, of course, the blue gem. Now there's gonna be a lot of things here that can kill you, including these these lamps, these lights, the poles will uh, electrocute. Uh, be careful you're not on the pole when it activates. Now here I'm gonna do a slide jump, but I'm gonna stick on that left side and then do another slide jump and then a third one. Of course, wait for the pole. All right, so now just be careful. This section's pretty easy, pretty much in line with what we've done throughout the game. Go ahead and knock the bug into the TNT crate behind you there. If it doesn't blow it up, make sure you do it yourself. Now with this arm, make sure you jump at least halfway, as high as you can actually, and then you're gonna have to go over and under and then over those uh, traps there. All right, so now we're in the red gem section. Now I'm gonna grab this mask. I'm gonna get the invincibility here. It doesn't actually help me that much, only with that TNT crate. If I didn't have the mask, I would just jump on that TNT crate, use it and bounce over to this third pedestal and jump on that dude's head. So it doesn't really help me that much. All right, so here I'm gonna jump on a minecart, empty one, and head all the way back towards the screen because we're gonna find a set of boxes over here in the corner. Now, the important thing about these minecarts is there's a, a pattern. There's two enemies and then an uh, empty cart. So remember that, two and then an empty, two and then an empty. That's always consistent. So we're gonna go over to these set of boxes here to the left-hand side, go over where these bugs are. And then jump up and get these other ones. Now we're going to have to do some wall running, a set of wall runs. Uh, make sure you jump on these uh, walls at their lowest point. If they get too high, uh, by the time you get to this third one, you'll electrocute yourself. And now the yellow gem. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this one will drive you crazy. Uh, I've taken a lot of time, a lot of practice, and I can do it consistently now. But it wasn't always that way, I promise you. Uh, note the cages on the bottom of these platforms I'm on. When they fill up, they'll uh, light on fire. You want to be very, very careful of that. So once we jump off here, you got an enemy. If you stand very far away, just barely close enough and swing into him, uh, you can, he'll blow up the nitro without blowing you up as well. Now these are the only two pedestals that won't catch on fire, so use that to your advantage. Now this one's a little tricky. I'm just going to jump over to this crate and then do a slide jump back and try to catch it right when the electricity turns off. It's that's tough, guys. That's that that's tough. There's actually a couple other ways you can do it. You can bounce on that red crate and then bounce back to the platform to the left. If you're having trouble, give that a shot. Now this this is unfair. This is completely unfair. I'm going to do a very short, quick jump. Very short. I don't want to jump too high. Uh, when the box is uh, at the highest point or almost to the highest point it's a good time to do i jumped too high that time i think that was the first time i got hit all right so now we're going to travel over to the blue gem area the blue gem has one very nasty surprise waiting for you don't sweat it guys believe it or not all you're going to do is very little actually you're just going to stand for the most part so we're going to jump on a cart and it's just going to take you it's going to drop you off right in front of a white gem however if you're not paying attention you'll fall down before you get to it it's very sad if that happens you also be careful of these beams above you you don't want to hit your head on it so when you get to the end i actually do a slide and then a jump a slide jump over to the gem itself and there you go guys that is the gauntlet remember you need all four colored gems check my channel i do have a video showing all those locations and if you're having trouble just stick with it guys i promise you you'll eventually get it